All right, guys, this is um, continuing the lesson on solving systems of inequalities by graphing. Let's take that first equation and think about putting it in standard form. I know it's a circle, so we can group together the x squared minus 4x. Take negative 4, cut it in half, and square it when we get plus 4. For the y's, we have plus y squared plus 6y. Take 6, cut it in half, and square it, and we get 9. On the right-hand side, we have 23, and we also added four, so we're gonna have to add four, and we added nine, so we're gonna have to add nine. Now we can factor, this is x minus two squared, plus y plus three squared, it is less than or equal to 25 plus nine, that would be 34. So the center of the circle is two, negative three, and the radius is the square root of 34, which we know is gonna be slightly less than six. So we can go ahead and graph what we know so far. Two, negative three, there's our center, and from the center, our radius is square root of 34. Well, that's just slightly less than the square root of 36, which is six. So we're gonna go about six in either direction. One, two, three, four, five, almost six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's less than or equal to, so we're gonna connect those with a solid line. And um, again, the idea of less than or equal to, it's gonna be shaded inside the circle. You can always test a point within this region to make sure it works. And um, zero, zero is within the region. If we plug in zero, for all of the x's and all of the y's, it is less than or equal to 23. So we can think about shading inside the circle. To graph the second equation, we can think about plotting points, or we can remember the equation y equals absolute value of x is a v shape that starts at the origin. And then thinking about transformations, that minus two within the function shifts it to the left two from the origin to the left two, and the minus six will shift it down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a point right here. And the slope is still one, so it's still gonna have that V shape, and we're gonna use a dotted line. to graph that absolute value function. And then when we think about where to shade, this is y is greater than the function. So greater than the function would be above the function, up here. Again, you can always test a point. If I test a point somewhere above this V shape, a really easy point to test again would be zero, zero. So plugging in that and testing zero, zero, let me write it down here, uh, we would get zero, greater than absolute value zero minus two minus six. Well, this would become positive two minus six, and zero is greater than negative four, that works. So this is part of the solution region. So we're gonna shade up above. And then remember that the solution to the system is where the two shaded regions overlap. And where the two shaded regions overlap is just this piece right here. That's it for our lesson. Have a great day.